Hi everybody, my name is Lemugre, and with the release of the demo for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came a buttload of information about new Mega Pokemon. We have all the stats for all the Megas. And these Megas are Sceptile, Swampert, Sableye, Altaria, Gallade, Aldino, Sharpedo, Slowbro, Steelix, Pidgeot, Glalie, Dance, Metagross, Kyogre, Grodon, Rayquaza, Camera, Lopunny, Salamence, and Beedrill. Those are all the Megas that have been released, and I am going to show you their stats right now. Starting with Mega Sceptile, Mega Sceptile gets 70 HP, 110 attack, 75 defense, 145 special attack, 85 defense, special defense, excuse me, and 145 speed. That's incredibly fast and incredibly strong for special attack. He's going to be able to Oko a lot of stuff, and he's going to be able to outspeed a lot of stuff. Now, on the other hand, we have Mega Swampert, who gets 100 HP, 150 attack, 110 defense, 95 special attack, 110 special defense, and 70 speed. Now, he does get Swift Swim, which is going to put his speed at 140, which means he's still not going to outspeed Sceptile even with Swift Swim. Now, that is a pity because if so, if he could outspeed Sceptile, then he'd be able to Oko that thing with an Ice Punch. But, unfortunately, that's not the case. So, moving on... Mega Sableye gets 50 HP, 85 attack, 125 defense, 85 special attack, 115 special defense, and 20 speed. Very slow, but very tanky, except for his HP. Now, when you pair this with his new ability, Magic Bounce, now Magic Bounce bounces back status ailments, not like Synchronize, but let's say, for example, they're going to go ahead and hit me with a Glare, a paralyzing move, okay? So that glare is going to do nothing to me and bounce back at them and paralyze them. This also works with spikes. This works with anything that isn't a physical attack. Or, well, physical or special attack. Now, this has some really interesting play when you compare it with its non-mega form. The stats aren't that different. You know, I mean, yeah, he's more tanky, but he loses Prankster. So you get to play a lot with, ooh, is he going to be Prankster? Is he going to be Magic Bounce? Do I go for the Paralyze? Do I not? Do I attack it? Do I not? People are, are going to be pretty confused about whether that Sableye is your Mega or not. And that makes for some really interesting play. Mega Altaria has 75 HP, 110 attack, 110 defense, 110 special attack, 105 special defense, and 80 speed. And gets the Fairy typing when it Mega Evolves, so it becomes Dragon Fairy. Apart from this, it also gets the ability Pixelate, which gives it stab on normal type attacks and converts those attacks to fairy type. Now that could be very interesting, but we'll see more about that in the future. The psychic fighting type Mega Gallade gets 68 HP, 165 attack. That is just brutal. 95 defense, 65 special attack, 115 special defense. That's pretty high. And 110 speed, which is... Uh. He also gets the ability Inner Focus, which basically means he doesn't flinch. But we'll get more into that later. Mega Audino gains the Fairy typing, becomes Normal Fairy, and has an HP of a 103, attack 60, 126 defense, 80 special attack, and 126 uh, special defense, and 50 speed. Not very fast, not very strong, but he can definitely take a few hits. Um, his ability stays as healer, meaning that he heals status ailments to allies in battle. Moving on, Mega Sharpedo has 70 HP, 140 attack, 70 defense, 110 special attack, 65 special defense, and 105 speed. Uh, when it uh, Mega Evolves, it does lose the ability speed boost, which is pretty much the greatest thing it had going for it, but it gains strong jaw. So uh, I'm going to get into Sharpedo later, but that's all you need to know for now. Mega Slowbro has 95 HP, 
75 attack, 180 defense, that's just outrageous. 130 special attack, also quite insane. 80 special defense, and 30 speed. Slowbro also gets the ability Shell Armor, which protects it from critical hits. Mega Steelix has 75 HP, 125 attack, and brace yourself, 230 defense. 55 special attack, 95 special defense, and 30 speed. He also gets the ability Sand Force, which ups the power of ground rock and steel type moves during a sandstorm. Mega Pidgeot gets 83 HP, 80 attack, 80 defense, 135 special attack, 80 defense, or special defense, excuse me, and 121 speed. It also gets the ability No Guard. Next up is Mega Glalie, who gets 80 HP, 120 attack, 80 defense, 120 special attack, 80 special defense, and 100 speed. He also gets the ability Refrigerate, which converts normal type moves into ice type moves, giving them stab. When the Rock Fairy type Deancey evolves, it gets 50 HP, 160 attack, 110 defense, 160 special attack, 110 special defense, and 110 speed, along with the ability Magic Bounce. Mega Metagross has 80 HP, 145 attack, 150 defense, 105 special attack, 110 special defense, and 110 speed. It also gets the ability Tough Claws, which boosts the power of contact moves. Mega Camerupt gets 70 HP, 120 attack, 100 defense, 145 special attack, 105 special defense, and 20 speed. It also gets the ability Sheer Force, which increases the power of moves that have an additional effect. Mega Lopunny has 65 HP, 136 attack, 94 defense, 54 special attack, 96 special defense, and 135 speed. It also gets the normal fighting type and the ability Scrappy, allowing it to hit ghost types with fighting and normal moves. Mega Salamence gets 95 HP, 145 attack, 130 defense, 120 special attack, 90 special defense, and 120 speed, and it gets the ability Aerialate, making its normal type moves flying and giving them stab. And lastly, we have Mega Beedrill, who gets 65 HP, 150 attack, 40 defense, 15 special attack, 80 special defense, and 145 speed along with the ability Adaptability, which is the same as the one Mega Lucario has and increases the power of stab moves. Well, that's about it for Mega Stats, but I'm not done. Uh, there's going to be a second part to this video where I talk about the Move Tutor moves that were revealed. And we're going to start putting together some move sets for these Megas. Well, until then, if you like this, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I know I left out the legendaries, but they're not really megas, they're primal forms. And I didn't touch Hoopa yet because we really don't know what she looks like. And I think, I, I really want to see a picture of it before I start putting ideas together. So yeah, as I was saying, like, comment, subscribe, and I will be with you next time and we can talk about movesets. I'm the Moon Gray, bye bye!